Hi YouTube, this is RobleNuts1 here, and today I'm going to do a review for you Batman and Superman issue 2. And so the story basically continues off from where it left off. We have Batman and Superman first meeting in, um, in the early years of their careers as superheroes. Um, and it basically sees Batman and Superman visit this alternate universe. Which seems very similar to the pre-52 um, stories. Like we have Batman and Superman um, we have Superman's parents, who are very much alive, and we also have Batman married to Selina Kyle, which I always thought that was the direction that Batman was going to go to if um, the pre-52 hadn't happened. I do think we would have had um, Batman marry Selina Kyle. Because stories like The Hush, um, the sequel to Hush, um, all pointed towards that direction. And it, it was only really, um, with the pre-52, with the new 52, that, um, Catwoman and Batman sort of broke off into their different sets of stories, and um, now it no longer seems that the those two characters will necessarily get back together, which kind of irritates me, because at the moment Batman isn't going anywhere, necessarily, and we have Batman still, um, we have Zero Year in Batman, and then Batman spends most of his time just moping around for the loss of his son. Which is great, but not a very good, interesting story. And unfortunately, it's slowing down the progress that Batman could, could do. So, we have Batman and Superman visit this um, alternate universe. And... Um, we have basically Batman and Batman meeting, Superman and Superman meeting. Um, that's as bad as far as the story goes to. There is no... Like, the art is beautiful in this comic. However, the story doesn't go anywhere. Like, it doesn't progress the story any further than what was established. And... To me, that really, really annoys me. Because we're not having good character progression. We're having, you know, these characters simply don't go anywhere. And to me, that really, really annoys me. Because I thought that in the first issue, we had very, very good... Um, like, differences between these characters. Like, it was going to be a character study of how Batman and Superman are different from each other, but how they're, um... but how they parallel each other as well. Um, we have that, but no story progression beyond that. And really, in a story that, and this is a story that needs it, um, Wonder Woman shows up in this comic really randomly, and um, to me that just took away the magic of Batman and Superman in my eyes. Because you now basically have a love triangle, between Lois Lane, the Superman, 
and um, Wonder Woman, which makes that, which basically detracts from the fact that this was a, a Batman and Superman story. And basically it's turned into this mesh of, I don't know what's going on with this story as far as the art goes. And um, so I may be... And um, if this story doesn't progress anywhere in the next two issues, I'm just going to drop, drop it and wait for trade. Because, um... I'm not going to continue. I will collect anything related to the Trinity, but I'm not going to waste my time collecting a book that um, doesn't go anywhere. Um, but it was nice to have um, characters from the old DC universe. Um, I really, really like that. Um, other than that, that is the comic in a nutshell, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so, let me know what your thoughts are about the review and subscribe if you haven't done already. Like the Facebook page. Um, I'm always on, I'm always available on Facebook. Um, if I don't apply for you to you immediately, it's because I'm not on Facebook at that time. But I'll always answer questions and talk about stuff on Facebook. Um, I'll pretty much always um, update you and on Facebook as well. So, yeah. That's the comic book, and I shall see you all later. Bye.